Howdy folks, Sandra Lee here, aka Nocturnal Butterfly, coming at you from Ontario again. This time with a video on how you can dehydrate your citrus. Stay planted. Okay, I'm right in the middle of dehydrating some grapes because I have some grapes that are going a little bit soft, so I figured I'd make some raisins out of them. And I also have some lemons and limes that I need to get dehydrated. I use these in my water or in my teas or you can use them like if you want to make like a hot lemon drink with some honey and a little, maybe a little bit of whiskey if that's your thing or whatever but that's what I use them for. You can cut these in slices if you want like I've done here as you can see I have some oranges already done or you can cut them into little pieces like I'm going to do right now because I have a special little, um, let me find it here, sorry for my squeaky cupboard. I have a special little container here that you can put little um, pieces of fruit in or whatever you want to put in there and then put your water in, right? Okay, so I'll show you what I do. Cut these up here like this, but don't throw these away, okay? We're going to use these later on and I'll show you in a future video. What you want to do is you want to get yourself a baggie or a container that's freezable and stick them in there and then stick them in your freezer, okay? All right, back to the lime here. Right, cut it. Watch your fingers. Do as I say, not as I do. You can cut them as thick or as thin as you want. It all depends. This is the perfect size for me here, okay? So you continue on doing that and you want to make sure if there's any little seeds in, you take the seeds out like I've done here. Okay, and we'll be back. Alrighty, we're back now. I'm, I've finished slicing up my lemons and my limes and like I said, you can slice them any way you want or however thick you want. Just keep in mind, the thicker they are, the longer they'll take to dehydrate, okay? So here we have our tray and we're going to want to like this. Now you can individually put these on and be all neat and tidy about it. We're just going to put a few on here and spread them out. All right, maybe I'll take a few off. Yeah, we'll do like three layers, I think we'll do it. All right, now you want to do this for each layer and if you see any that have the seeds still, let's see, ooh, I caught one with the seed in it, so get that seed out, okay. All right, so continue on till you have a nice even layer. You might have to take some out, it looks like I threw a few too many on here, okay. You, want to, you don't want them all stacked on top of each other. Doesn't matter if they're touching a little bit, they will shrink and separate. Okay, now it only end, I only ended up using two trays, which is really good. So I'm gonna spread out a little bit here. Now I'm going to my lid off here of my dehydrator. My grapes that are gonna be raisins. Now I'm gonna stack these on the bottom here. Obviously my grapes are gonna take a lot longer than my lemons, so they're gonna go on the top here closest to the heater and the fan. Then we put our lid on, like so. Always check around, all the way around, make sure everything's nice and in place. There's no trays that are um, sticking out because you want to keep all that hot air in. Get to your 135, plug her in. It's like the oranges, this will take probably about 12 hours, so we'll be back when they're done. All right, we're back and it's been about 10 hours. And oh, let me take a look. You see, they've obviously gotten a little bit darker. They're nice and dry. I'm banging on the counter so you can hear it. Yeah, they're nice and dry. So what you wanna do is get a jar, fill your jar, put your lid on it and store it in a dark and cool place. And you're good to go you'll have lemons for a long, long time. I hope this video was of some use to you. If so, please leave me a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and smack that bell. As always, please take good care of yourself out there, and much love.